Hello everybody and thanks for joining me on this video today where we are looking at adding more users to the social Wi-Fi dashboard. Now, inevitably at some point you're probably going to want to increase the number of people that have access to the dashboard and the settings that we have within here. So there's a few different things that can go on here. We have different permission levels. People such as admins can do everything. We have people that are just working customer service who can do nothing except um, respond to the feedback that is received from the review system. There are a few different permission levels, but also you can add people on a venue level, but also on a project level. We have a separate video explaining the difference between projects and venues. But in the first case, let's take a look at Great Coffee Chain and imagine that we have somebody at head office who wants access to the dashboard in order to see all of the venues within the coffee chain. We want to go in to Great Coffee Chain at a project level and we then need to go to the permissions tab, um, which is on the left hand side at the bottom. And we will get a list of everybody that has access to this project. And it will also show people that have access to individual venues as well. But by adding somebody at a project level, they will get access to all of the venues within the project. I just click add staff and let's put in an email address here. Let's pretend we want to give the IT director some access. And let's just call him IT director. We have four different roles. We've got admin, manager, customer service, and reader. And in our academy, we have written descriptions on what each of those people are able to do within the dashboard. At the top, we have admin who has the most permission to do things, all the way down to reader, people that can see things, but they can't change things. And basically at the top, the more power you have. So let's create this person as an admin. We hit create. And that person is going to get an activation email from our system where they can then log in and set a password and they'll have instant access to all of the venues. Let's imagine a scenario though where there's a new store manager, for example, um, in Great Copy Chain. Let's say that Times Square in New York, they've got a new store manager and they need access. So we go into their venue, we can do it from here on the um, project details tab, or we can go into the pick other and get a list of all of our projects and venues and go in that way. On the left-hand side, we have more options in a venue, but we still have the permissions tab down here. And we can see everybody that has access to this venue. We go to add staff once again, and let's create um, an email address here. and we want to make them an admin as well. I hit create and the same process applies. They have um, received an activation email. We can resend the activation email if um, they haven't activated it. You know, they're saying to you, I, I can't find this email, can you resend it? You can go into the permission tabs and you get this um, envelope option here that will resend the activation email. Uh, maybe you've typed in that email address wrong. You can edit that by going here or you've just made a, a, a great mistake and you want to get rid of that person um, altogether. You can hit delete right there. So, um, a, you know, very simple to add more people to the dashboard. Um, there's a great likelihood that you're going to add, want to add multiple people. So just follow these processes for each person that you want to add. Uh, removing people is as simple as hitting the delete button on activated accounts. But there's more information on this in the Academy and the Academy includes detailed lists of what people can do with each permission level. So we'll put the link to that in the description and hopefully you will find that useful.